Hello everyone, we are team Netflix. Our team member are Bright Bright, Xinya Liu, Xiao Shuai Lu, and I am Shu Yao, and I'm so glad to do the introduction of Netflix here. A quick overview about what we do first. We are building a database of film categorization. User profile information and preferences. Then populate the data model with simple data and demonstrate some features like Netflix. And we really hope to provide our users a comfortable and convenient service. The goal for Netflix is to let users to see what's next and watch anywhere, cancel anytime. Hence, Netflix is an internet television network which provides its members with the del delivery of TV shows and movies, um, just like including the original series, documentaries, and feature films. So the member can enjoy the service as much as they want, anywhere, anytime, deliver directly on their any internet connected screen. And now, they can also download a selection of titles of offline viewing, which will be more convenient. And Netflix also provides the user with some supporting products, including the Netflix bottle and switch and a new tool called Fast. So in our data database, we have more than 12 tables to maintain all the necessary information for any videos and v users. We have table price contact to provide services. Mult multiple tables for our users to search and view videos. So that's, that's my introduction. Here is Xiao Shui to introduce our AR model and logical model. Enjoy. This is our conceptual model. We can see here, video table is in the middle of this model and is related to all action of other tables. Other tables move around the video table. Users can view the attributes of the targeted video interact with the press contact. Categories the video belongs to. Our conceptual model has some features. The first one is the many-to-many -many cardinality constraints. There is ternary relationship between video, press contact, and user table. Users need to enjoy the videos with the help of press contacts. One video may have zero to many users. One user can enjoy one to many videos. One press contact may help many users. One user may need more than one press contact's help. There is also many-to-many -many relationship existing between video and person, video and category. The second feature is about the participant constraints. We can see from the picture not every person plays roots in the videos stored by the company. This feature may cause more concern when translating conceptual model to logical model. The third one is that some weak entity types exist in our conceptual model, like season and episode. All these features are interesting pieces to understand our conceptual model. Then we transfer our conceptual model to logic model based on the nine steps we learned from classes. This model does an excellent job showing how important the video table is to the stability of a database and the largest table video table requires the most uh, information. Our logic model is very interesting. There are seven tables have foreign keys to the video table, such as cast, 
playlist interact, movie distribution, and so on. Okay, in the part of physical model, we create the logical model first. So we create the physical model by referring to the logical model. This is easy to create the most part of this model. According to the logical model, we know that the video is the main part and there are five parts connecting to the video part. Otherwise, there are three groups connect to each other but do not connect with the video part. Figuring out the relationship of each part, we can begin to draw the construction of the physical model. The second process is to figure out the primary key. As we said before, we create the logical model first, so it is easy to make sure the primary key and put the primary key on the top of the each part. The third process is the hardest process in our opinion. This process actually took our many times. We need to know what kind of data type match to each entity. Data type for each column is specific. Data types can be different depending on the actual database being used. We spend a lot of time in making sure the data type. The last process is to make sure the length of the data. I have to say, it is an easy job, but we have to make the number reasonable. If the data is just one number, the length should be longer than one. If data like a name may be 10 letters, the length should be longer than 10. More clearly, video ID, for example, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 number, so we can use 6 as the length. These are the whole process in creating the physical database model. The next part is feature overview. Is feature overview. As at the end of the project, all our team members believe that all three of our prioritized requirements are price contact must be available to provide services. Users must be able to search videos. Users must be able to view videos. Could be supported by our current database models. Due to the limited scope of our project, there are some future features we are unable to adjust, such as price releases, company blog, tech blog. All these three sections take the form of article in the media center. We do not create database model for them in our project. However, we also think it will be easy to add this function to our models. Since this article section is not so complex as video, and each article has its unique ID, article name, and author, but these articles do not have much relationship with the video. That also the reason we focus our scope on video. These future features, parallel video, and adding these features could make the project not a limited scope working, but a comprehensive database design of the company as a whole. Now we're going to examine the SQL statements we used in our project. The video table is perhaps the most fundamental table of all of the SQL statements together. It refers to either a full-length film or a video series that has multiple episodes. Uh, you can see our create table statement. It has the premiere date, description, rating, star distribution, as well as its ID and title. And we inserted uh, seven sample videos into our project. The category table is what you see when you open Netflix. You can see the descriptions of certain playlists. For example, most popular, trending, thriller, family, animated, uh, most recently watched. Um, these categories are divided. We, we inserted three sample categories into this project, and all it has is a category ID as a name, where videos and categories have that many-to-many -many relationship. The user table refers to each Netflix subscriber. Now, realistically, there's going to be more data in the user table, but for the simple nature of this project, we just included the um, a unique identifier, a user ID, um, a first and last name, along with an email, credit card, and address. Um, in this project, we inserted three sample users as well, John Smith, Harry Potter, and Darth Vader. The press contract excuse me, the press contact table refers to the Netflix representative for any questions or concerns regarding a video's content. So, for example, we have our create table statement. They have a name and email address as well as an ID. And in this um, project, we've inserted two sample press contacts. 
the person table is different from a user in a press contact table in that a person is usually either an actor or a director. So each video lists a director or directors and actor or actors that have participated in the video. For the simple nature of our sample data set, we've used uh, three sample um, actor, people that can be either actors or directors, depending on the video. The series table is what's used to help distinguish between a full-length film, like a, a, an hour and a half movie, or a 20 or 40 minute episode that you see. So the series table contains um, the mapping from episodes to a video, as we called it in our project. Uh, we inserted two sample uh, series, um, particularly the most prominent of which is Lost for the V0007 identifier for the video ID. Lost having six seasons, we've put six seasons as the season count. And finally, the movie table is, as I mentioned previously, it's just a standalone film, um, whether it's Finding Dory or Zootopia, I think we had in our example. Uh, so we inserted um, five movie videos uh, that are each a standalone film. So this has been a wonderful project. We've really enjoyed learning and working with Netflix, and we hope that uh, you were able to understand everything that we've communicated, and please let us know if you have any other questions.